Hi, folks. Today, we will be talking about scalable Elevas backend using Kubernetes and ECMP. My name is Shunya Kitada. I'm a private cloud engineer in Yahoo Japan's infrastructure team. I joined the private cloud team from 2030, and I deploy, manage, and develop our OpenStack clusters. And this is Yusuke Tatsumi. Hi, I'm Yusuke Tatsumi. I have managed production network for several years, and I joined OpenStack private cloud team from last year. OK, this is today's agenda. At first, we will talk about the relation between Yahoo Japan and OpenStack. Next is background and motivation in this presentation. And then, we will talk about system overview and performance evaluation of load bashing system that we built. Finally, from operation point of view, we will share our monitoring tools and incidents that actually happened. At first, we will talk about the relation between Yahoo Japan and OpenStack. Yahoo Japan is a Japan's largest portal site. It provides various services, such as news, and shopping, and weather forecast services. We provide over 100 services, and much traffic is coming from internet every day. To support our many co services, many computing resources are used. A part of computer resources are provided as virtual machine. By now, we have provided computer resources in this scale by OpenStack. Recently, we are working on these topics, performance optimization of compu computer, performance uh, <laughs> Sorry, orchestrating OpenStack on Kubernetes, scalable computer nodes per cluster, and scalable load balancer. Today, we will present about activity of scalable load balancer. Next, we will share the background and motivation in this presentation. At first, we, we summarize our requirements about load balancer. We hope this should be white box, high performance, scalable performance, high availability, and easy to operation. Before we started, we have confirmed the characteristics of three existing Elvas backends. These are HAProxy, Octavia, and Appliance Load Balancer. At first, we checked HAProxy as backend. To utilize the HAProxy backend, we start HAProxy agent on LB node in advance. When new BIP is created, HAProxy agent attach the BIP support to the LB node. And then, by starting HAProxy for listing that port, traffic will be balanced to each backend servers. HAProxy is an easy to use software load balancer, we think. However, it doesn't fit our environment because of not having enough high ability feature and performance scaling. Next is Octavia backend. When new BIP is created, Octavia creates VM for LB node, and Octavia agent attaches a BIP support to LB node. And by starting HA proxy for listening that port, traffic will be passed to each backend servers. As is the case with HA proxy backend, it also doesn't fit our environment because of not having enough high availability feature and performance scaling too. Finally, is appliance load balancer. To manage BIP, Neutron Elvas using REST API that provided by Appliance Load Balancer. Appliance Load Balancer are high performance and high availability, and we now use some Appliance Load Balancers. Even in this case, 
we have we have to estimate service traffic because it cannot scale out capability after building of the OpenStack cluster. In some cases, we have to purchase additional load balancer. <coughs> this is a summarized table that we talked in previous slides. These load balancers are not fit to our environment. <laughs> we need all these features in load balancing system. So we have developed a new load balancing system. Today, we will share our load balancing system design and philosophy. And we want to bias opinions, both good and weak point. <laughs> OK, next is system overview. At first, this is high-level system overview. This system has three components. First is traffic distribution. Second is orchestrating LB resources by Kubernetes. And third is operating Kubernetes by neutron controller. So let's do a deep dive on each component. First of all, traffic distribution components. To begin with present traffic distribution, we confirm these three terms, BGP, BARD, and ECMP. First is BGP. Border Gateway Protocol is a popular routing protocol in Internet Service Provider. BGP speakers are connected by socket and exchange routing information each other. If it loses socket connections, and after a certain period of time, neighbor's routing information will be expired. Next is BARD. BARD is dynamic IP routing demo. It can speak BGP protocols and advertise routing information to router. <coughs> Third is ECMP. ECMP is a one of method traffic balancing using routing protocol. Like this table, when router have the plural entry, same distribution but defined gateway. Router can use ECMP method. In this case, traffic will be transferred to either gateway by IP hashing. So, Let's talk about traffic distribution in detail. At first, created new beep will be advertised to root reflector by BARD. We use root reflector as a relay point in order to make routing publicly more flexible. Via root reflector, routing information will be advertised to router. In this system, Router have plural root to the beep. When some access coming from outer side, the access will be transferred to one node by ECMP. Additionally, when node will go down, the root to that node will be expired. This process realizes fault tolerance at node perspective. Next is LB resource orchestrating. All of the necessary resources for LB is provided by Kubernetes. In this system, external IP of Kubernetes service resource is treated as BIP. And a port related with the service will act as software load balancer. We adapt HAProxy as software load balancer. Configurations of HA proxy is also provided by Kubernetes config map. And if configuration is changed, HA proxy will gracefully restart automatically. Additionally, by adding Kubernetes nodes, this system can scale the resource pooling. Let's talk about more detail. 
At first, BIP is external IP of Kubernetes service resource. And this IP address is assigned by Neutron, not by Kubernetes. This figure show actual access to the BIP. When access is coming to the BIP, IP tables will change this IP traffic BIP to internal address of HA proxy port. This is destination NAT. In practical case, there are many ports, and traffic will be distributed to each port. To ensure same traffic flows go through the same path, we set session affinity as client IP in service resource configuration. In this configuration, first packet will be transferred to the backend randomly. And subsequent packet will be transferred to the same backend. This process is realized by IP tables random module and recent module. In this system, we adapt HA proxy as software load balancer by simple reason. Because we have se several knowledge about HA proxy in our environment. And we have few knowledge of operating of another software load balancer. Last one is control component. In control component, it is Helm. Helm is one of package manager to handling Kubernetes manifest file. It is something like a YAM in CentOS. And chart is package that combines manifest files. It is something like a RPM in CentOS. And Tira is controller demo. It controls resources via Kubernetes. For example, preparing chart to create a port, and you execute Helm install command. This command requests to Tira. In according with chart manifest, Tira deploy a port to the Kubernetes. From neutron control perspective, neutron Elbus plugin just acts as Helm wrapper and it execute Helm command in the system inside. For example, when you create load balancer, Elbus plugin execute Helm install command. Also, when you update load balancer, Elbus plugin execute Helm upgrade command. Actually, if you can use Helm command, you don't need Neutron to operate load balancer. Neutron act as role to pay out BIP, and actual orchestration is provided by Kubernetes. Okay, next is demonstration. Okay, let me give you a demonstration. In this demonstration, we will create a load balancer and access to the BIP. First, I will create a load balancer. When load balancer is created, Kubernetes creates service and port in background. And let me check the status of port with Elbus load balancer stats command. This command returns the result of kubectl get port. So you can get to know the status of the port. You can see that these ports are running from 28 seconds ago. <coughs> okay. 
Next, we will call to the beep of this road buzzer. However, since this road buzzer has not listened to the port yet, I cannot access to this beep. So I will create a listener of road buzzer. I created the listener, so I will cut it again. This time, HTML has been returned, but the status is service unavailable because there is no member yet. So I will create a pool and member and headless monitor. First is creating pool. Next is creating member. And, and last is creating health monitor. Okay, and let's check config of HA proxy here. With, with this Airbus load buzzer starts command. <coughs> this command returns the result of kubectl get config map. So you can get to know the config of HA proxy. <coughs> like this. <coughs> so I will try car again. Oh, I success this time. <coughs> and next, we perform a simple for test that we delete port and car. At first, I check the status of port with this load balancer stats command. And delete one port. And could be delete port. <coughs> and then <coughs> you check the status of port. You can see that port started up again. <coughs> and you can call to the beep. and car again. <laughs> Next, I delete another port and try car again. <laughs> and select another port. There is another port. <coughs> and car again. <coughs> In this time, we can also make car without any problem. And port is also get up. <coughs> In this way, LB resources are orchestrated by Kubernetes. And Neutron Airbus is an interface for manipulating this Kubernetes. Okay, next is performance evaluation. In this section, we have evaluated this load balancing system. We want to know how 
this system scale performance by increasing the number of ports and nodes. To research this point, we have tested three cases about port scaling, port limitation, and node scaling. Before talking about the test result, let's confirm about test settings. We measured HTTP RPS by using Work as client and Nginx as backend. Work is a one of high performance HTTP benchmarking software, and Nginx is also known as high performance HTTP demo. By these settings, we confirmed that both client and backend may not be bottleneck. We are also concerned about tail latency, so we set up upper limit as 30 millisec at 99 percentiles. <clears throat> at first, we evaluated pot scaling on four nodes. By this result, this system can improve performance linearly by increasing the number of pods. Consequently, if this system have enough capacity, just adding pods make performance increasing. Unfortunately, we could not evaluate the part of both 4 kilo and 8 kilobyte because of network saturation. When we use scaling system like this, we thought network layout also must be able to scale. For example, IP fabric network topology is a good way. Next, we evaluated detail of upper limit of pod number on one node. By this result, we can find RPS increase linearly under eight pods. Eight pods read the best performance in this, se in this setting. Also, upper limit exists around 48 pods. That is because this system has just 40 CPU cores. On the other hand, more than eight pods do not make linear performance improvement. In this area, CPU migration increased dramatically, so we think this takes much latency cost. Performance does not grow as much as we expected because it cannot keep raw latency on this situation. We think CPU, CPU core affinity method is a one of the good solution to improve this situation. Finally, we evaluated node scaling. As a previous slide, we fixed the number of pods eight per node and adding nodes. According to this graph, we can confirm that it can increase total performance linearly by just adding nodes. By this result, adding nodes surely make road balancing properly. This is a summary of use case on this system. When we use more RPS, all we need is to create more pods. It is much better with using pod odd scaling mechanism according to some road metrics such as CPU or networking utilization. Also, when we need more capacity of whole system, we just add more nodes. By this usage, this road balancing system can scale performance and capacity. Okay. Okay. Finally, operation. <coughs> At first, we will share our monitoring tools. We use following tools. Sense, Graphite, Grafana, and Splunk. Sense is monitoring tool like Nagios. It is used for monitoring processes and service resources. And also, Sense and server resource metrics to Graphite. 
graphite store metrics of several resources. And Grafana show graphs of metrics stored in graphite. Also, you can see the metrics collected from HFOXY's HSTATs, such as the number of sessions and backend health. <laughs> Last is Splunk. Splunk is logging tool. It is used for monitoring log of Kubernetes and BARD. For example, TCP timeout or connection error. These tools uh, use our private OpenStack clusters. And this system also uses these tools. Next is incidents that actually happen, warning case and critical case. At first, warning case. The first warning incident is that the backend server got clogged by HFOXY's health check. At this time, send health check at five millisecond intervals from three ports. So we made it impossible to send health check at millisecond intervals. <coughs> Second is that TIRA's response became very slow and Neutron API stopped responding. When the amount of resources managed by TIRA exceeds a certain amount, it becomes heavy. At this time, when the resource exceeds 1,000, and the re response was delayed by several tens of seconds. So we are using namespace of Kubernetes. We set up multiple tiers and reduce the amount of res reduced resources managed by one tier. And also, we periodically delete resources that are no longer needed. <coughs> Next is critical case. The first critical incident is that all Kubernetes nodes cause kernel panic. The main cause is that Calico's log was flowing to the message, and this brought it massively. The CPU stuck and caused a kernel panic. So we solved it by lowering the log level of kernel to prevent unnecessary logs. <coughs> Second is that all nodes down one after another. When assigned a large amount of port to a node, the Kubernetes got down, and Kubernetes evicted this node and assigned port to another node. And that node, Kubernetes got down, and Kubernetes evicted that node, and then all nodes down. So we limited the number of ports allocated per node. Oh, these programs occur in the staging environment, so be careful. <laughs> Last is summary of this presentation. We will summarize the Rosebanster requirements again. White box, high performance, high scalability, high availability, and easy to operation. However, because existing candidates don't fit these requirements, so we developed a, a new load balancing system. This is, everything is made up of OSS, so it is white box. And improved performance by using plural HAProxy ports. Also, you can scale the performance by increasing the number of ports. And you can also scale resource pools by increasing the number of nodes. If the port breaks, it healed automatically by Kubernetes. And all resources are orchestrated by Kubernetes. And our future work, we want more performance and lower latency. For that, we try other software solutions, LVS, DPDK, XDP, etc. <laughs> OK, thank you for your attention.
Star Wars. How about that? Any questions? <laughs> You mean do do I build the driver to from Newton to So did you answer that question? Are you ready for the next question? All right, I'm just gonna go. Okay. Uh, so uh, ECMP on the front end is super powerful, but uh, one challenge that we've had in our infrastructure is when we lose one of the front end nodes that actually like receiving the first packet from ECMP, uh, it's really disruptive when we lose it and then try and reinsert the node uh, because the ECMP hash like immediately starts forwarding to that node. So I was wondering if you guys had any advice on what you did to address that. それはない。なんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんかなんか
So we try to open this driver. OK. OK. Right, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.